Hello everyone, welcome back. I'm super excited about this video because I'm going to show you how to use ChatGPT and Langchain to autonomously query tabular data such as Excel and then manipulate the data and then save the final results to my computer. For this experiment, I only provide prompts to the AI and then Langchain and ChatGPT will figure out how to accomplish my assignments autonomously without my intervention. This is not a video that I copy and paste prompts between ChatGPT windows and then my code editor windows. And that is so yesterday. As most people know, ChatGPT is a large language model chatbot and it can generate text, including code. However, it doesn't run the code. Langchain is a framework that can parse ChatGPT's response or code and then execute the code. In fact, Langchain does much more than just parsing and running the code. It can actually run autonomous bots powered by any large language models. And in today's experiment, I'm going to give Langchain and ChatGPT some records from my credit card statement. Then I will ask the AI to analyze my spending and save the results on my computer. Other than setting up the AI and sending the prompt to it, I will not type a single line of code myself. Let's get started. First of all, I'm going to create a virtual environment called langchain env and then install several libraries there. In the command prompt, type pip install langchain and this open pyxel python dash dot env. If you want to follow along, you can use this sample credit card statement that I saved in my GitHub repo. In this repo, you can find two CSV files. Use the one ends with the short dot CSV. This file contains about 50 lines of record, whereas the other file contains 500 lines. And do not use this large file because it's going to eat up your OpenAI credit very fast. You will also need an API key from OpenAI. When you register an account with them, they will give you some credits for free. Some people get $5 and others get like $18. If you need to know how to use the API keys, check my other video here. Currently, I don't have access to the GPT-4 model or the ChatGPT plugin access. So I'll be using two models in this video. One is the GPT-3.5 Turbo and the other model is called Text DaVinci 003. The two models are similar in terms of chat functionalities, but I find the DaVinci 003 model gives more consistent code output than the GPT-3.5 Turbo model does. The GPT 3.5 Turbo model often generates code surrounded by ticks and causing the code to crash, which you will see later in this video. The DaVinci model is more stable, but it costs 10 times more than the GPT 3.5 model. I will have to find a solution later on how to fix the ticks when using the GPT 3.5 model. Lanchain does a lot of things, but in this video, we'll focus only on agents. If you need a crash course on what Lanchain can do, check out this video here. So agents are very powerful and we can think of them as robots that are equipped with a suite of tools so that they can carry out different operations. For example, searching on the internet, performing complex calculation, and the agents can even run Python code. One distinction between the Lanchain agents and other bots that you meet on the internet is that the Lanchain agents are not programmed by humans. They are powered by code generated from ChatGPT. I made this chart to demonstrate how Lanchain agents work. So this happy human gives a prompt to agent. And this person says, help me achieve something X, Y, Z. Notice how this person only asks for the final results without providing a detailed outline on what the robot should do. And then the agent will understand the human's intention, then come up with a plan to achieve X, Y, Z. But the plan doesn't have to be a single step action and it can involve many steps. Agents are also smart enough to take appropriate actions depending on the results from the previous step. For example, if the agents doesn't find answer they need, they will have to try another approach. And once the agent finishes the task, it will return the results back to the human. Let's first give the agent a simple task. We'll give it the credit card statement data and then ask the agent to find the high spending category. It's super easy to create an agent. In this video, we'll use a pre-built agent type, which is called a data frame agent. Basically, it's a robot that can understand and work with pandas data frames. Lanchain offers a few pre-built agents 
feel free to check them out. I believe we can also build our own custom agents. In the first attempt, I'm going to use the GPT 3.5 turbo model. And you can see it's giving me some problems because of these ticks. It's likely that because the GPT 3.5 model is fine tuned for conversation. And by surrounding text with these three ticks, you can actually make this a code block when displaying on a web page. It shouldn't be too hard to just ignore the text and just parse whatever code that's inside them. I won't try to fix it in this video and I'll be just switching over to the DaVinci 003 model, which doesn't surround code with these ticks. For a temperature argument, I'm setting it to zero which means the large language model response will become deterministic. So basically there is little or no randomness in the response, therefore making the response more stable. Let's make a new agent and use the model X DaVinci 003, and then we'll rerun the same prompt. It's working this time and we can see that the agent thought process on the display. We can see what the agent thinks it should do for each step and the actions that it takes. This is made possible when we set the verbose equal to true. If you don't care about the intermediate steps and you just need the final result, you can set the verbose argument to false. The agent gave us an answer and we can verify that by running this piece of code generated by the large language model. Check. If you enjoyed the video and want to see more videos like this, please hit the like button and subscribe. I'm currently working on a tutorial series on land chain and large language models, so there will be plenty of videos coming out in the near future. Now we have the answer and we can even ask the agent to save the results on our computer. I want to point out that we didn't give the agent any memory. So by the time it tells us the answer to our first question, it already forgets about it. It's possible to add memory to our agent, but we'll talk about that in another video. We just have to remember that and include the previous attempt. And this time we asked the agent to summarize spending by category and then save the results into an Excel file called spending underscore summary dot cell. Right now, the agent is still using the DaVinci 3 model, so there's no problem with parsing the code. The agent found the answer and then it saved the new Excel file inside this folder. Let's take a look at the file. This is a summary of the total spending split by category, and it looks good to me. People who work with Excel a lot know that parts are something must have for an Excel file. So let's give the agent a little challenge here. We'll ask it to not only summarize the data, but also create a chart using the summary data. Let's see if the agent can figure out how to do this. And I'm not going to lie, for this challenge, I tried and tweaked my prompt several times, and eventually I got it working with the GPT 3.5 Turbo model. This is the prompt that I used. So analyze the data frame provided, save the results into an Excel file named multisheets.excel. Use the OpenPy Excel library when saving the Excel file. You do not need to save the Excel file for intermediate steps. Set the Excel file, create a sheet spending by category that contains a summary of total spending by each category. Then use the summary data to create a bar chart inside Excel and put it on the same sheet. I had to give the agent a bit more detailed guidance on how I want the AI to generate the code. Because I know that OpenPy Excel library can create charts inside Excel. So I asked the agent to use it. All these prompts are just to help nudge the agent a little bit in the right direction. I noticed this is quite impressive as how Lanchain agents handle errors. For this challenge, the agent actually did two runs. The first attempt, it got this not defined error, and then the agent knows how to fix it by importing the function from another module. After that, it rerun the code and it worked successfully. The file was generated by the agent. Let's take a look. You can see the summary table and the Excel chart side by side. If we take a closer look at the chart, we can see that it is actually missing a category. It's not perfect, but I would say still very impressive. The Lanchain and ChatGPT combo is for sure very powerful and can do things beyond our imagination, such as creating an Excel file with data autonomously. However, both technologies are still in their infancy and they're not perfect, but I hope this video gives you some idea where AI is headed. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.